Hey everyone, this is Caffeinated Books and in today's video, I am going to talk about whether you should buy an iPad or not as a student. So the model that I have is iPad 8 generation 2020 128GB Wi-Fi and the Apple Pencil that I have is first generation. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> So, the first app we have is Apple Books. Apple Books is free of cost. You can literally download any book you want to and that too free. So, it's like a Kindle but you can actually highlight the point and you can make a note which is also so cool because whenever I'm trying to read a book, I try to carry a notebook or a pencil with me but with that, I only have to carry my iPad and Apple Pencil. Another thing that I find really amusing is that you can change it either to vertical or horizontal in format which is more convenient to me because sometimes I feel like I want to read a book and other time I just want to read a PDF. As you can see I have a lot of books on my shelf and most of them are something that I really can't afford. For example Sylvia Plath's poetry they are pretty expensive so I try to download them online and read as much as I can. Moving on to our second app which is Good Notes. Good Notes can be used by student, teacher, writer, reader. Uh, as you can see, you can actually change the size of the pen and you can zoom as much as you want to. Okay, with that, as you can see, that's so cool. Wow. How inspiring it is. Another thing that you can do is split screen. Okay, I know this sounds really dramatic but trust me it is the best feature in ipad because sometimes when i am reading a book i literally try to note down some key points some keywords or especially quotes another feature is that that you can actually change the color of highlighter they they even give you palettes so it is so interesting to use pastel ones hopping on to our third app which is LibriVox Audiobooks. If you are really interested to know what kind of apps do I have, then please check out my previous video in which I extensively talked about how many apps do I have and which app is really helpful for students. So as you can see, you can actually open Apple Books on the other side and you can listen to the audiobook at the very same time, which according to me, for a reader, is a boon. Next app is Netflix. Now, I know, I know that a lot of people can't afford Netflix just like me. I'm also using my cousin's Netflix. Uh, so, I also have Instagram and Hotstar for my entertainment purposes. I also have Prime Videos and I use Prime Videos to watch only Office. Okay, apart from that, I have YouTube in which I just watch BTS videos or comedy videos. The next app is a lifesaver and that is Pinterest because whenever I am looking for the exact aesthetic notes or wallpaper or even good note stickers, Pinterest is there to help me. If you are someone who likes to do journaling but literally can't afford stickers, then trust me, Pinterest will help you out. If you download this image, then you just have to do the split screen with the good notes and with the help of that feature, you can actually cut out the exact image you want to use. Uh, Pinterest is an app which have plenty of options, so I'm sure that you will never get tired of it. If you want a different type of stickers, there they are. Pinterest is an app that I don't think that can disappoint you, to be honest. For example, I am not someone who likes to do journaling, so... I try to do as much as I can but I am not someone who is very artsy. <laughs> I try to be as minimalistic as I can. For example, I am drawing this square and if you just hold it, you can actually change the shape. For example, I am making rectangle and then triangle. It is something so fun while taking notes and if you are a, a math student, I'm sorry if you are a math student then it's a great app for graphs i guess 
another thing that i find really interesting is that you can change the color of your pen which is well i can't afford every color pen but guess what apple pencil is there to save the day this thing that you can uh, download the you can actually find the hexagon code and by that you can actually enter the hexagon code in the palette and you will find the exact shade so let's talk about okay enough about ipad because my pencil is getting a little bit insecure let's give my pencil full credit because without apple pencil i don't think i would be using ipad as much as i am right now talking about apple pencil i am using silicon cover to protect it you can easily charge it with the connector they provide or you can charge it with your ipad i am currently using washi tape on my nib because it is easy to wear out the nib and it is quite expensive to buy another nib so i try to use washi tape on it to protect the nib as much as i can if you're a student it only takes 10 to 20 minutes to charge the pencil and the battery life of the pencil is quite good if it is fully charged then it can survive for 2 to 3 days moving on with that not only you can charge it with the connector but you can also charge it from your ipad which i personally find so convenient as you can see it is really helpful to charge it with the ipad and it only takes 10 to 20 minutes as i said earlier so that is it for the video guys i hope you really enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if i actually convinced you to buy an ipad if you like this video do subscribe and i'll see you in my next video happy reading